Thank you. Thank you so much. And if you want the CDs, there is a stall right there. You can go and have a look at the CDs. And after this, thank you, sir. His Excellency from Great Britain and France. Be here tonight. Um, the second uh, reason is that I'm actually a fan of Katumbo's music. Um, they were kind enough to come and play a set at a reception I hosted for um, the visit of His Royal Highness Prince Harry when he came this time last year. Uh, they were fantastic and it means that I'm a fan. And the third reason is that I think uh, I really like what Katumbo are trying to do in promoting listening and understanding. I think uh, if you make an album that's in part inspired by somebody else's music, by Highland music in this case, what you're doing is putting yourself in somebody else's shoes. You're trying to understand somebody else's culture. You're, you're embracing diversity. You're not taking anything. You're not being closed or defensive. You're being open. You're, you're trying to understand. You're, you're trying to create something new and, and make something different through that openness. And I think that's a great message. So I'm delighted to be here for that reason too. I won't say any more, but thank you very much. Um, congratulations on the album launch and thank you for a great evening. Thank you back. Dave Richard, nice to be here with you. And uh, good night, everybody. It's a really an honor and a pleasure to be here for this uh, beautiful concert, which I'm not going to introduce because it's been introduced already. Um, since our uh, formation in, uh, in 2004, Kutumba has been popular in Nepal. And with uh, an encounter between traditional music instruments from Nepal and a wide array of other musical traditions and improvisation. They are seven musicians, all coming from diverse social backgrounds. Alliance Francaise of Kathmandu and French Embassy have supported them since their beginning. They were invited to play one set reception on a national day by the French Embassy, and they often played Garden of the Alliance Francaise. They have actively participated in various artistic projects set up by the Alliance Française, such as a pluridisciplinary artistic project, Divinity of Common Life, uh, in, uh, in the Alliance in 2007, in the first edition of Planet Nepal. Nepal, Nepal, Planet Nepal is, is continuing uh, till today. And uh, after that, they were invited to play in Paris by uh, Culture France, the previous avatar of now Institut Français. It was their first performance in Europe. And um, it was quite successful since in 2012 they were again invited to perform in Paris. But that year they didn't stay in Paris, they went to other places of France, including Brittany, which is also from a Celtic uh, tradition, but also to uh, uh, Bonifacio, which is uh, quite opposite, it's uh, Corsica, and uh, which uh, for a band coming from a landlocked country like Nepal is quite an achievement. Uh, I'm sorry we couldn't bring back a piece of the sea in the luggage. <laughs> Not limited to France, their successful tour led them to other European countries, United Kingdom, Belgium, Germany. And uh, well, you, you may wonder why France has uh, provided support and why I am here tonight to introduce a Nepali and not, not a French man. Because my country thinks that it, it is great not by confining to its own culture, but by welcoming cultural diversity. That's the reason why the French government is supporting the Alliance Française Network, in order to promote not only French language and French culture, but also local arts, artists, and culture. One good example of its uh, global action is uh, Fête de la Musique, International Music Day, on the 21st of June. It started in France in 1982, but it's been continued all over the world. Now, thanks to Alliance Française and Institut Français, this day is celebrated by musicians of all over the world every year, including in Kathmandu, as you know well. The band Katumba has already produced six albums of music, and this new album, Himalayan Highland, is a meeting, meeting between Celtic and uh, Nepalese music. Um, Scotland is Celtic, um, French, Brittany also, and other countries or parts of uh, Europe as well. It's a fruit of a stay in French, uh, Brittany, where Celtic music is deeply rooted and of residency we've been in Edinburgh, in Scotland. As you know, Scotland is uh, not only the birthplace of whiskey, but also one of the pillars of Celtic culture. 
and uh, I hope the Celtic connection will continue to link our countries and cultures. Thanks to the success of Kutuma Group, a new generation of musicians are playing more and more local musical instruments, and new groups start to appear and have success on stage. Not limited to one region, Kutuma is played with artists from many other regions from this country, including from Mithila region in the south, which reflects well above Mithila. I praise this. I, I hope that John um, will to contribute to the sense of unity in Nepal by linking people from the Tarai region to other regions of Nepal through music. And I wish great success to Vanyuan. Thank you very much.